As you have, I've seen and read a lot about the grip. However, I think a better job could be done in helping golfers better understand the significance of the grip for your game. First, let's begin with the central idea that the game of golf is all about sending the ball to a target. The center of the fairway, the center of the green, or the hole. Next, recognize that the angle of the club face plays the major role in the direction of the shot. Rotation of the club shaft will rotate the club face, enabling it to face in directions other than toward the target. When a player sets up for a shot, they typically will pay some attention to getting the club face to face the direction of their target. How we put our hands on the club can cause unwanted rotation during the swing, resulting in the club face no longer facing the target at impact. So here's the important implication. If I sole the club so the face is aligned with the target and place my hand on the club in a palm skyward orientation, when I swing, the centrifugal pull of the club will cause the bones in the form to rotate and turn the hand palm forward, shedding the club face. Conversely, if I sole the club so it's aligned with the target and place my hand on the club palm downward, when I swing, the centrifugal pull of the club will cause the bones in the form to rotate and turn the palm forward, opening the club face. As we set up for a shot, we can ask ourselves, do we want to position our palm skyward and have the club face shut, sending the ball to the left of our target, or position our palm downward and have it open, sending the ball to the right of the target? I'm guessing neither of those alternatives are desirable. Instead, consider setting up the club face facing the target with the palms vertical. During the swing, the centrifugal pull of the club is going to cause the form to position the palms vertical, and the club face will contact the ball facing the target just as you had it set up at address. And here's a bonus. Should you by chance slightly twist the shaft, the tremendous centrifugal pull of the forward swing will rotate the forms back, resulting in the club face once again facing forward at impact. Palms vertical is referred to as a neutral grip. Here's how you position your hands to achieve a neutral grip. First, sole the club so the club face is facing forward. Holding the butt of the grip with the right hand, lay your left hand on the side of the grip. The fingers should be pointing straight down. They'll be diagonal to the club. The palm of the hand should be vertical facing rearward. The heel of the hand should be above the grip. Then, Without changing the palm, curl the fingers and set the thumb. The thumb should be resting just on the right side of the club. If the butt end of the grip were a clock face, the thumb would be at one o'clock. Now, lay the right hand on the side of the grip. Again, the fingers should be pointing straight down. They'll be diagonal to the club. The palm of this hand should be vertical facing forward. If you use an overlapping or interlocking grip, position the little finger between the first two fingers of the left hand. Being careful not to move the palm, curl the fingers around the bottom of the grip, interlocking or overlapping as you choose. The thumb rests on the left side of the grip and the grip should be positioning the thumb and the index finger so they are aligned. So from a forward view, hold the club in the right hand, place the left hand alongside of the club. The palm should be vertical facing rearward. Curl the fingers, set the thumb. The right hand is laid on the side of the club. The fingers are pointing straight downward. The palm is facing forward. Curl the fingers, set the thumb. Now my preferred grip is one that we recommend to all of our students, and it's the 10 finger grip. So with the 10 finger grip, we place the left hand on as we have conventionally, the fingers are down, the palm is facing rearward, 
we curl the fingers and set the thumb. For the right hand, it's pushed down so that the pocket of this hand fits right next to the thumb, and all ten fingers curl on the grip. So the grip looks like this. The only difference between this grip and the others is this is overlapping, this is interlocking. The critical part is that the palms of the hand are oriented in a neutral orientation. What we do with the little finger is really of no consequence. Comparing the three grips, the only difference is the position of the little finger. I found no advantage to interlocking or overlapping. There's a slight advantage of the 10 finger grip. And that is that we have less grip pressure and it's a more normal way of holding something. So as club face rotation decreases, ball flight consistency increases. Sew your club facing your target and hold it with a neutral grip.